All right, buddies. <clears throat> Time to liven this fucking channel up. Liven it up. Okay. That there is one of my favorite rock groups of all time. One of them. Never be no one else like them again. Zeppelin rocks. Zeppelin rules. Uh, this is a range report. I got nothing but great things to say about the Smith and Wesson 1911 PD. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And uh, Jesus God, is it is it more accurate than my Glock? When I shoot it uh, by leaps and bounds, it, it blows it away. I mean, it's fucking sickening. Okay. Like, remember I said I don't shoot a lot? I don't shoot a lot. I, I just started shooting often. I just started shooting. Okay. Just to give you an idea of how accurate this thing is. Okay. Uh, that kills my Glock group. Not that Glock's a... Not that it's a better gun than a Glock, but I'm better with this pistol. Look at the Smith and Wesson 1911 PD. Did look at it. Look at it. I mean, I am so happy. I'm trying to stay calm because I'm so happy about how things turned out. Because every time I get a pistol and it's like, you know, that much money, I'm 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 like, you know, scared to death to see what's going to happen. I hope it don't jam. Is it going to fucking the slide going to break or? Is it going to be not accurate? And uh, this is like 35 feet away. You know, I usually shoot 30 feet, but I went, uh, I think I put it uh, almost 40 feet. I went to go a little further this time. And I only have one flyer. One flyer. Uh, that's 25 rounds right there. So there's one flyer out of 25 rounds. I got it all in the red. And not only is it in the red, the tightest group is in the center of the red. So that tells me. I'm more accurate with this Smith and Wesson 1911 than I am with my Glock. Uh, is it more accurate for me than my Sig? Man, that's I don't know. I don't know. I think so. I don't think I'm that accurate with the Sig. So in the accuracy order goes like this for me: the Smith and Wesson 1911 PD first, the Sig Sauer second, Glock third. It's my three top most accurate guns, but I just found out today that my new Smith & Wesson is the most accurate 1911 I have. Okay, and I'm not comparing 1911 with Glock. I know it's a completely different model, completely different, uh, you know, animal. But uh, I'm just saying I'm more accurate with that than my Glock. Way more accurate. Look at it. Okay. Uh... Yeah, no feeding problems, no jams, no anything. The only thing that was going on, brass was hitting me in the head. That can be fixed, but it don't bother me. Only like two out of five shots, the brass like hits you in the top of the head. I don't care about that shit, man. I'm not fucking with that gun at all. That gun is dead on balls accurate. Dead on, I mean literally dead on balls accurate. Okay? Uh, awesome. Jesus Christ, I'm very happy. I couldn't believe it. When I when I shot it, I couldn't believe my eyes what was going on. That's how friggin' accurate it was. Jeez. Here it is. I'm going to have to clean it up. She's all dirty. Filthy. I put 50 rounds all together through it. And, uh, it did fantastic. It, no malfunctions. Nothing. Absolutely very very impressed with it it's I have to be this is the best gun I got right now right now this is the best gun in my in my safe right now so far so far okay anyhow I, I will have a, a video of the range because this is going to be in two parts and I forgot to put my timer on and let me check see what time I got on this okay I'm alright uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say guys this is what happens when you buy a good quality gun okay first of all I knew I kinda knew I wasn't gonna have any feeding problems because of how awesome these magazines are okay not too many gun companies give you two good magazines you usually get one 
or two average magazines, they gave they're giving you two excellent magazines. Okay, if you know anything about magazines, all you gotta do is look at the follower, and I'll tell you right now if it's any good or not. It's got a great follower. The gun, the gun is uh, it's empty. Uh, the gun is filthy. We're gonna do a cleaning on it. It's all black, you know. But uh, zero problems. I'm, I'm I'm just really happy about that. Okay, and that's it. And uh, oh, oh, I got a PM last night, late last night. Some guy must have seen my video where I was talking about where girls shave down there, and he told me like some hairy. I said whatever, dude. That's up to you. Whatever. He goes, I like them hairy. I was like, oh, I guess you're from Europe. But uh, it's not always good when a girl shaves down there. Because I know I don't look like it, but five years ago, I was I, I was going out with a lot of women. All right, And uh, one time, gee, I hope my wife don't watch this. One time, uh, I was, went to a nightclub and it was like a one night stand. And this girl took her clothes off and I seen her rosebud and it was all shaved. Now some women down there ain't developed very well, and they should not shave it. This thing looked like a dead bird. Yeah. And she wanted oral, and I was like, yeah, right. <laughs> so, sometimes it's not good when they shave down there. It depends how uh, developed they are. Alright, enough of that talk. I'm going to get in trouble, ain't I? Here you go. If you're going to get one of these, well, go get it. That's all I got to say. It's fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal. I, I can't find the words. I think even good enough. Okay? Zero defects. So here's your range report. Smith and Wesson. 1911 PD. People are asking me, what's the PD stand for? I don't fucking know. I'm going to take a guess and say police department. But it might not be. If you know, uh, put the answer up on the uh, comments. Okay? Awesome weapon, bros. Check it out.